Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Hair Thursday. And today I want to show you how to create soft, loose waves in your hair using a curling iron. And I know you're thinking, I've already seen this video, Sarah, but I actually am using two different curling irons today. I know there's been a lot of hype out there about the clipless curling irons, and I love them. I have several clipless curling irons, and they do create a really soft, loose wave. But you know what? You can also create a soft, loose wave in your hair by using a traditional curling iron with the clamp. Yes, you heard me, with the clamp. You can use it and it creates a really nice soft wave without any crimp marks. And in fact, today I've curled my hair with both, this side with the clipless curling iron and this side using the traditional curling iron with a clamp. So today I'm gonna to show you the two different techniques and how you can create a really nice wave with both of the curling irons. So the first curling iron I'm gonna to use today is the Sadu Revolution clipless curling iron. I got this at Folica.com. I do believe it is the one inch model and um, if you are interested in these kind of curling irons I actually have a review up already at Folica.com comparing this iron with the Enzo Milano. I like this to do tons better than the Enzo Milano and if you are interested in that I'll just put a link below and you can check out why I um, like this one a lot better. But I'll be using this on one side of my hair and then on my other side of the hair I'm going to show you how to create those soft loose waves with a traditional curling iron. Just your basic clamp, hot tools, curling iron. The way I prepped my hair, washed and blew it dry yesterday. When I blew it dry I used the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Styling Tonic that I've written about before. If I'm ever blow drying my hair and using a curling iron, I always use the same product because it protects from the heat, it smells really good, and this one actually gives a nice hold in it so when you curl your hair it will last for longer. Right now I don't have my curling irons plugged in just so I can show you slowly how to create the wave on each side without completely burning my hair right off. But the first way on this side, I'm gonna just show you how to do it with a clipless curling iron. I actually have another video with me doing this in detail, so if you're interested, please check out that video and I'll leave that link below as well. But just for reference, if you haven't seen that video, you basically just wanna take a one inch section of hair, make sure it's smoothed out, and you're gonna place the curling iron behind your hair and then just wrap the hair around the curling iron and you want to hold your ends as close as you can to the iron and you just want to hold it for about 10 to 20 seconds and then you let go and there's the curl. Obviously I don't have the curl right now since it's not plugged in. Um, there's a lot of people that do it differently. Sometimes people hold their iron up, sometimes they hold it you know, straight across, sometimes down. Does it make that big of a difference? I really don't think so. I think it's all just a personal preference. I prefer to hold mine down because then when I let go, the curl drops off still in that exact same form, opposed to when you're curling upwards, when you let go, it kind of like bends and goes down. But you know what? It's your personal preference. Whatever feels most comfortable in your hand, because if you're doing something that you're not comfortable doing, you're probably going to end up burning yourself. So that's how you do the technique with the clipless. Now using a traditional curling iron and using a clamp, you just want to go ahead and get the good old hot tools which I've used in several of my videos and I love. Same kind of deal, you want to grab about a one inch section of your hair and what you want to do is open up the clamp and place it down about halfway through your hair as you can see here. And then what you want to do is turn the iron about a quarter to a half turn like this and you're kind of holding it where you're holding your hair taut in the iron. Not pulling it, but just holding it nice and taut. So what you're going to do is you're going to depress this handle on your curling iron ever so slightly. Don't depress it all the way because your hair will fall right out. But just depress it enough that you can feel your hair slide through just a little bit, but you still want to keep a little bit of resistance on there. So basically what you're going to do is press that thumb down and just start pulling your hair slowly through. Now, the more you f twist your wrist while you're doing this, the more spiral the curl is going to be. So if you want to keep it loose 
in just that nice beachy loose wave. You don't want to be turning your iron a lot like this. But if you do want a really tighter spiral curl, just keep on turning. Now what I do is, like I said, I've clamped it about here. I've got my thumb on, I'm depressing the handle, and then you just slowly pull your hair through and just watch those ends come through the iron like this. And towards the end, I do turn a little bit more. And you'll get all your, at the bottom, you're gonna basically have your ends all the way through. And then you just let go. And it will create the curl. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair pinned all up and do each side with the differing techniques. This side, I'm going to do the clipless curling iron. Take the curling iron, place it behind the hair, wrap the hair around the curling iron, and then just hold for about 15 to 20 seconds. Then you're gonna release and you'll have that nice loose wave. Be sure and keep your fingers as close as you can to the iron without actually touching it and burning your fingertips off. So there's that nice loose curl. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the side of this hair. finished doing the side of my hair with no clamp marks obviously. Now I'm going to go ahead and create the wave on this side using the traditional clamp curling iron. So once again you're going to take about an inch width of your hair, place the curling iron halfway down on your hair, clamp it down, rotate it about a half turn and then pull slowly downwards. You can twist it more if you want. Remember the more you twist your wrist the curlier it's going to be. And then just slowly pull that hair through until the ends are barely through and then go ahead and let go. But as you can see it is more of kind of a spiral but there is absolutely no clamp mark in it even though I used the clamp on the curling iron. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this entire side of my head.
I finished curling my hair. This side being the side using the Sidhu Revolution clipless curling iron, and this side was done with the Hot Tools, just the regular metal traditional clamp iron. And as you can see, there really isn't that much of a difference. I think maybe this side might be a, just a tiny bit tighter of a curl, but not enough that I couldn't go out right now you know, with my hair curled with two different curling irons and I don't think anyone would ever, ever notice. You still can create that nice, soft, loose wave using a traditional curling iron and you really can't tell the difference between the two. So I hope you like this. I don't know, which one do you like better? Do you tell, can you tell a difference? If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all soon. Bye.